Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh really. and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video we are going to be pressing flowers and then we're going to be putting them onto glass bottles. <laughs> So we got this idea from Pinterest actually. I was scrolling and I saw someone do this and it looked really, really cool. And she had like maybe five of them displayed on her window and they looked really pretty as room decor. And I was kind of down a wormhole of flower pressing videos at that point. So this is just one of many. And then a few days later, I created some of them with Holly. We'll show you those at the end, but they're on darker bottles and they work as well. So I'm curious to see how they look on clear bottles. Yeah, and it's also a really cool thing to do if you want to make some room decor, but you don't really know what to make. And it's like yeah. also really summery, so getting yeah. into summer now. Flower pressing is one of the coolest things ever. It's really cool. We are filming this video in one day, so we're not going to be traditionally pressing these flowers as I did when I made them with the bottles. We are going to be microwaving them or ironing them, and this is kind of a test. No idea if that's going to work. And I've never made these before, so I'm going to be taking Rayleigh. Rayleigh's going to be the leader. And yeah. I'm going to be following the leader. We also have <laughs> we have this basket to collect flowers in, right? You Ruby's going to be wearing a red coat. Mm -hmm. You have the basket. I'm going to be. We're going to play putting a picnic. I'm going to. I'm going to go back to 2020 COVID and 25 feet apart from you. So before we go and pick some flowers, we are going to tell you all the things that you'll need really quickly. You first need some recycled glass bottles. We have four of these and you can just use any that you've had. Mm -hmm. And you want to take the labels off. So you want to take the labels off in water and then to get the residue, use acetone, which is nail polish remover and they should come off pretty easily after that. You also need Mod Podge and a paintbrush, whatever you want to use. This is to stick down the flowers. Then you need kitchen roll, baking paper and scissors. So there's not many things you need for this. It's quite an easy thing to get. On top of this, you have maybe three different things that you could use to press flowers. One, you could do it traditionally with baking paper under some heavy objects. Two, you can use a microwave and something heavy to lay on top and you will also need baking paper. Three, baking paper and an iron, so you're going to need the baking paper. And obviously you also need the flowers, which you can just get from our side. On the subject of upcycled materials, you should go and have a look at our Let's Remake It channel if you're interested in reusing things, because we have loads of videos on there which reuse items and make DIYs from them. So, now we are going to pick some flowers. Come on. we're back these are all of our flowers they're really cool there are so many and each of these like these bigger ones are going to be split so we're going to be trying to do this with a microwave method and for that we need small pieces of baking paper so we're going to cut out a good size i go that much this one is for ruby thank you you're welcome also going to want a piece of kitchen roll You'll need two and you want to place them next to each other. These are going to go on either side of the plant. You get something like that. Now you want to start laying out the flowers. If you're doing a microwave method, you might find you have to do this a few times if you've got loads of flowers. We got daisies, we got buttercups, we got snowdrops. Um, oh, they smell really nice. Oh, they're my favourite ones. Kind of got whatever was there. Okay, so we're done. So we're gonna lay this down now. I'm not gonna lie, this part scares me. I don't wanna do it by hand. I'm gonna do it with this. Upon further reflection, that would probably would have worked better by hand. <laughs> there we go. I braved it and now it's fine. And then you want to lay this over. Just go microwave our flowers. I've put them on a plate and then I'm going to take another plate and put that on top. 10 second bursts. 
on medium. Not done yet, but they're working. Okay, so now it is my turn to test out and see if this works. We already know from what Ray did that it does work. So for Ray, she put it on for 10 seconds and she did that for a blast of seven times, I think it was. Somewhere around there, but it might have been more. I'm just gonna keep putting it in for 10 seconds and we'll see how this goes. They're flattening though. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do the rest of the 10 second bursts and then come back. I'll show you guys when it's all flat and dry. So, we have took these out of the microwave now and I'm pretty sure they're both done. We did check them in there, but we're gonna properly do it now. So, let's open it. Okay. <gasps> Aww. Oh my goodness, wait, these ones? They've turned purple. They've turned purple? They've turned purple. Wow, they're really cool. Okay. You probably need more than you can think because they shrink, but it definitely does work. Now let's open mine. So we have finished now, all of our flowers are dry and they're looking so beautiful. They look so cool, don't they? Yeah, they do. They're really bright. One thing I will mention is I thought that the amount of time you leave them in was going to seriously destroy them, like it'd be so easy to burn them. I found it really hard to burn these. So here's what mine look like. I'm really, really excited about it. I think it looks really cool and I'm excited to put them all on bottles. I also got some tiny little leaves and they work as well. So these are mine, I really love the way they look. Definitely got some really pretty colours here. These are my favourite, the purpley ones, which were pink before. And I love the yellow ones, so they like definitely kept their colour the most. I think the yellow and the red, for me, probably kept its colour the best. I really like the dark pink ones, though. they actually look yeah. really good. And these blue ones, but also the pink ones, even though they went purple, they still have a really nice colour. <laughs> We have all of our stuff now. We have our bottles, we've both picked two each. And we have our flowers and we have our Mod Podge and the paintbrush. You want the bottle to be dry and you want the label off. So to take the label off, you just rinse it with water and then peel. And if there's residue left, usually there is, you use acetone, which is an oil polish remover, and just wipe it off with a tissue. How you do this is, you can either put the glue on the bottle or the glue on the back of the flowers. I am going to be putting it on the back of the flowers because even though this dries clear, the texture shows up. I'm just going to do what you do because I trust your instincts. So that's the first one on. Right, we're just going to do this then. Oh, I like it already. One tip is if you're doing this with a clear bottle or any bottle in general to be honest I don't recommend putting the glue onto the bottle because it makes it bumpy Like it dries clear but it makes it bumpy Because I made that mistake and now I'm doing it like that and it's a lot better You're going for a colour scheme? Rainbow Couple days later and we have both finished both of our glasses. I've yes. got to say, Ray did take a couple hours more than me, don't know why, I didn't see it. I was being very, very strategical with how I placed the flowers because when I did the ones a while ago with Holly, I put the glue on before and then I put the yeah. flowers over top. So I was putting the glue on the back of the flowers and then sticking them on and it made it take so long because I had loads of flowers. And if you don't want to go out and pick flowers, when you're pruning a plant or when they're dropping, that's when you should go and pick them because there are loads that have dropped onto the floor. So this is our first burst which we did and oh my gosh, they're so pretty. They look so good Summer. in the light. I love that Summer. flower. They're so summery and in the light especially, like you see all of the colors and it really just like, it's a really nice room decoration because it just makes the room kind of pop a bit more. Yeah, I feel really in tune with spring. Yeah, I love spring, it's my favorite season. Oh, I love stuff like this. My whole Pinterest is just stuff like this. So here is a close up of mine. I used a lot of flowers in it. The flowers on mine are more closed up together than rubies and they're in a more isolated space. And this is a close up of mine. If you can tell, mine really is a little bit different because mm -hmm. my flowers are a bit more spaced out. 
but I really love the way it looks. It gives off massive spring vibes. So Ruby actually hasn't seen this one because I took ages doing my first one and then did this one another day. So are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Cute, Wait, it? it all like connects. You've made them all. Yeah, it's like a little meadow scene. It looks like okay, and it sounds really weird, but it looks like a stitching. You know what I mean? Like when you stitch stuff onto the yeah. shirt. It reminds me of that because they're so like put together. It's really sweet, I think. I liked it. It is really sweet. I love yours. They complement each other. So yeah, they're well. like a little set. I thought I'd do them both the same, just because honestly, I haven't. This is my first time doing this, so I thought I'd do something safe but like super pretty, and then maybe if I do it again, I can like experiment with it more. Yeah. This is a close up of mine. As you can see, it is different to my first one. And this is a close up of mine. It's really similar to my first one, except it is a bit of a smaller glass, so it's got a kind of a difference. One tip I have for this is what you achieve or want to achieve should influence how you place the flowers. So if you want to see the flowers individually because you think they look beautiful on their own, then space them out. If you want to see an image of the flowers and like how the colours complement each other more, turn it into an image like this because you see them more as sections. And these are some ones that me and Holly both did before we filmed this video on darker bottles. Mine spans the entirety of the bottle and Holly's is in one section. Yeah, and this one's a bit of a darker glass, so it kind of shows a difference of what it could look like. But actually, I've got to say, I really love the way these look with the flowers on. So, this is our final collection of pressed flower glass bottles. I think they look really cool, and I'm really excited to put them in my room. If you want a new room decoration or your own vase, and you want to kind of spice it up a little bit, then this is a really good thing to do. It's really pretty, and also adds a really nice effect to a bedroom as well. And Valentine's Day is also coming up, so it is definitely a nice gift for that. You can really customise it and really personalise it. You can pick favourite flowers and put them on their favourite drinks bottle. Okay, so that's the end of our video. We hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below any ideas you have for future videos. We really enjoyed doing this, so if you have any ideas that are similar or also involve pressed flowers, then make sure to comment those. Thank you so much for watching this video. We love you. Bye. Bye.